Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Pete. Thank you, Deb. Seeing a shark in the water would be enough to make most people head to the shore pretty quickly, right? But for athletes who compete in the water, a shark sighting can be the difference between winning and losing a race. As a creative deterrent, this year's Nutrigrain Iron Men and Iron Women will be equipped with magnetic bracelets called shark bands to keep them safe in water. Iron Man Series champion Ali Day and Iron Woman Series runner-up Harriet Brown join us now from Burley Heads in Queensland. Good morning to you guys. Um, first of all, to Harriet, how does it work? So this shark band, it's kind of like a watch. You can put it on your wrist or on your ankle. And inside here, there's a strong magnet. And so the magnet affects the shark's electroreceptors. So when a shark's swimming towards you, well, hopefully it'll just swim away again. <laughs> well, that's the plan anyway. I mean, this, this it, does it work? Um, well, it's, they've been testing, we and so. we're really hoping so. <laughs> we hope so. Ali, you've, 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 you've been you know, fairly open about swimming with sharks and whatnot. How, how does it affect um, your performance, just the, the mere oh, sight of one? Yeah. yeah, it certainly does. Like, we were racing last year in America for the Deep Water Series. Um, and, yeah, I was leading a race over there at, at Alcatraz, swimming in, swimming in Alcatraz there, and... Um, as I said, I was leading that race, and I, I seen a shark, and it it spooked me, and I went from last, to, I went from first to last in a matter of in a matter of minutes. So, um, yeah, it does affect you, I think, doesn't it, Harriet? Oh yeah, definitely. I've I've seen a couple before, and it's really shaken me up. But then again, we're in their environment, and we choose to do that. And I would that would never stop me. We go in the ocean every single day. Yeah, we and, love it. Yeah. And we're in their environment, but. If this can help, then I think that's a really good thing. Uh, I mean, we've seen the pictures of Mick Fanning, of course, uh, so many times this year. Do you suspect this is something that the surfers will, will, will respond to and, and, and sample or try? Yeah, I guess we certainly hope so. Like, all us Ironmen and Iron Women are racing down at Newcastle in a couple of weeks' time, and we'll all be hopefully wearing them down there. And, yeah, I think everyone will kind of yeah. get behind shark If it's just and... something small and it's going to make the difference, then I think everyone will jump on board. So do you feel safer wearing that shark band? I do. do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah definitely. It's yeah. like a... It's like a safety blanket. Yeah. spins them off. So, so <laughs> how, how do I get one now? <laughs> oh, we can probably send, it, send one down. Here, yeah, please. but you can but... get them online. Yeah, is there you a cost? You can get them online at, um, at shark bands. Yeah. <laughs> how much are they? Uh, $150. Okay, that sounds pretty I good. <laughs> Me and Pete, you can, we can share, share my one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I reckon if they do work, uh, then they will be very popular. Uh, but um, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, we do hope they work. Uh, and, of course, um, just bringing it back to the surfing, um, we all wish Mick Fanning the best uh, this week. <laughs> yes, good luck, Mick. <laughs> all right, Deb. All right, good stuff. Thank you now. Cash registers.